Profanity Nation. Yeah, it's the new era of man for some old school fans with a new school brand. We got money on the mic with the plan in hand. And Stat Pat to his left, they go hand in hand. And to the right, we got Simster, he putting it down. It's the Profanity Nation, we running the town. Yeah, it's the Profanity Nation. Profanity Nation.
they they know that they can beat up on the Lakers, but the media hypes it up. So it's fun for them just to watch the media hype them up, just so they can you know, yeah, just for just like okay. chop it down again. Yeah, we are we, gonna prove you guys right. <laughs> yeah, bam, yeah, we gonna exactly. beat the Lakers real quick. Exactly. Right? You know, like, but, but you know, you know what it feels like really for the um um the Nuggets to me right now. It feels like remember like the, when the Bulls were winning championships, like you kind of just want to fast forward to the playoffs. Like, right. like, you know what I mean? Like, Let's get to where we got to get yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah. they're just kind of going through the motion, like right now, and they're winning games, and, you know, not, they don't really care if they're the first seed or whatever. It's like, yeah. they're Let's like, all right, cool. Lakers Let's get to the playoffs. Yeah. And after we, you know, after we get to the playoffs, we're going to turn it on and be that team. Because it seems like every time that there is a matchup, they're there. you know, they're there and they're performing like a championship team. And it's like we know about them. But they're still not under the ra- they're not on the radar like we know and about that's them. That's scary, and that's what I was telling in the off season. I said that I did not like the fact that they not they're not giving the the Nuggets their flowers because they still have motivation, and you know they have to validate that championship by going back to back. Or else one, one and done. One and done. They're in Milwaukee. Like you know, you know what I'm saying. Like you you have to win back to back to put you in the upper echelon. Of teams. of teams yes. that are like um, that, like unless or, or else you're gonna just be like you know what I'm saying like I said once like, you win it, championships now you're compared against the other championship teams and can you go back to back you know and and you're looking at teams that went three peats three peats and that's it went to the final three out of four Take years Boston away three just, peats like, you know, just like you know just like be around be that team for that five year stretch that you get in the final Golden State spot which because the Lakers haven't had it's been Golden State right. right. Um, you know, give or take, build bucks here and there and so right. forth. But uh, that's you're right. Are they going to go through there? You know, dynasty doesn't come into play until you're at a three peat. But yep. uh, back to back definitely puts them in the upper echelon of teams. Agree, Mike? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, they're different. Like you know, you you have um, Jokic. He's the MVP. Like back to back MVP. They're trying to give it to him. He always, they, you know, they 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 they, they didn't want to do three in a row be simply because he would have been the best. Of you the know, best he would have been. Best, uh, yeah. You know, the conversation. So with they're going to give it to him again. Bill Russell, yeah. <laughs> he he, he this can year. have four. He <laughs> just can have three in a row. Or he got three. He just can have three in a row. I think mm-hmm. that's kind of like what they're doing. Especially MB got hurt. So who else you really going to give it to him? Uh, like right now, like uh, I would say honestly, if I really, if we really being honest. Shy, Shy Gilders Alexander actually has a good case of being the MVP of the league. The third overall mm-hmm. in the okay. in, in standings. He, I think he's. Um, if you look at the defensive player of the year uh, of odds of being, he's fourth on the list of defensive player of the year. So he's a two way guy, yeah, he's gonna, and he's yeah. literally bringing the Oklahoma City Thunder that no one really thought that was going to be this good. Is this good? So they're relevant, and they're holding it together. And they're holding. They're not like so. It's like okay, if we're just trying to give it to like remember how like you said when Jordan was winning champion or when Jordan would get winning MVPs and you're like, all right, Barkley, you can win it. All right, Malone, you can win it. Like that's how it was. It felt like we couldn't give it to Jordan every year, but you knew Jordan was the best player every year, in the league, but we couldn't give it to Jordan. So we would start saying, okay, Jordan, you understand what it is. We're going to go ahead and give it to other people that are good enough. You know, that are not, like, you know, or that's next in line. That's what it is. And, and so that's how I see it. You know, I just think, once again, they have to prove themselves. They will prove them. Uh, they will get tested this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, I just think that Oklahoma City, I mean, Shy could have a really, really good case. If we're just saying I can't give it a Jokic, because I, I, I still can't. I can't give it a Tatum. You, you think A.E., um, Anthony Edwards? Uh, um, is it's playing the caliber too? Yeah, I would say he's yeah. he's on the list. He has to be. I mean, the, he's up top three in the West. I mean, you know, so you he has to be a part of the conversation. Um, I love his mentality though. Like I, I love just watching his interviews. Like like I used to watch uh, Kobe mm-hmm. interviews. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, just just his mentality, his swag, everything about him. Like I'm really like loving, like really what what he's become. So you know, like, like watching him him play and his growth yeah yeah like i mean because just just that he really like has when people talk about mama mentality he really kind of has that uh right now he's like the only one to me really that that has that definitely know. definitely um he, and the fact that he i mean I, I, you gotta like you obviously know he has a mama mentality because he took the team over yeah 
Straight up. Straight, Straight up took cat. the team. But we wasn't like, I'm coming to help you, cat. No, you're you're, you're helping me. <laughs> you're helping me now. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's what that is. We're there's no mistaking who the best player on the Minnesota Timberwolves is right now. No question. Yeah. No question, guys. Um, let's get to some other uh, basketball talk. Can uh, we talk about Brian James? Not yet. Oh, uh, let's get some other basketball damn talk. Uh, let's get to Luca. Did you happen to see the footage of Luca Doncic just shaking uh, Tyrese Halliburton's father's hand in the stands? Did you see that? You guys didn't no, see I, didn't. Okay. I didn't. There's footage. He just comes up and he shakes his hand, and his dad shakes his hand so hard. That he's coming back, he's doing this as he's what? Now, no joke. He's literally, and they, he's going to warm up, and he's looking at his hand, and he's shaking his hand just from, from saying like high five and a handshake. Yeah, you gotta look that up. Wow, bro, uh, like, uh, like Halliburton, hands out there. Halliburton, dad. Um, <laughs> Do you think I that mean, was on purpose? I mean, like, hey, calm, man, that sounds like some major calm shade down. Right there. Okay. Okay. Hey, that sounds like major shade. I like a million that. dollar pinkies, right bro. There. You got your okay. hands are insured. Are you yeah. crazy right yeah, now? Yeah. Go what, find that a, footage if you haven't seen okay, it. Okay, because this is my life. Oh, you know, speaking of that, you get fist bumps from now on. Yeah, no, you know what? Elbow, right? Yeah, Well, okay, look, in that same, because we we think about Luca. Did you hear that the invite that Luca got? No, from, um, from Joker. Jo- he Joker. Oh, okay. The Joker said that he wasn't gonna leave Nuggets, but if Luca's not happy, he could come over there. Oh, of course. He kind of They're did best you, friends. Did you, did you hear that? That's overpowered. <laughs> That's overpowered, bro. Yeah, I mean, because you know Jamal Murray ain't going nowhere. Yeah, but the, that's overpowered. But he, he threw that out there, and I was like, huh. Oh, they love each you other, know. though. Yeah, I know. I They're know besties. They They're besties. I know. That's and, what and, and, and you, But the thing is, and you know who's terrified? Because I know what you can see. That's crazy because you know Cuban was terrified of us. Yeah. Cuban was terrified of us, thinking like, okay, the stars, I mean, he's just too big. He's just too big for Dallas. Mm-hmm. He's maybe he's not cut like you know from the same cloth like, as it's Dirk. Been tick 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 right. tick tick. Yeah, like Dirk was special. Dirk yeah. is like cut yeah. from the same cloth as uh, um, um, like a Tim Duncan, Duncan is. Yep. Yep. You know, right. he's gonna he's good. He's solid. And he's got everything. Players he needs. from '96 here. Stay. Yeah, here. Luca is different, and Luca might be like if I'm not winning here, and this Kyrie experience didn't work out. Dallas, Denver, what's the deal? I'm not going to West. I'm not going to L.A. What I mean, you know what I'm saying? This I know no, Dallas. No. I, I mean, okay, before you, people from Texas kill me, I understand Denver and Dallas, or you guys think that Dallas is that much better than Denver, but I'm from Los Angeles. There is a hierarchy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. So I, <laughs> I, hate, I hate to be like that, but I'm going to be like that. Um, so I just think that if he does go, that's where you're not working, you're not seeing. You think he's coming to the Lakers or New York or some big, big neck. He go right over to Denver. Yeah, he don't need that. And he it's like, that. okay, damn, we let that happen on our watch. <laughs> that yeah. would be brutal. I mean, that's really wild, man. That, that would be that's brutal, really guys. It's scary, dude. Um, that's what it is. You know, but, <laughs> you know, like you say, Cuban's been under the gun. And, you know, he's, he's, he's okay. He's putting, he's giving it a shot with Kyrie. That was a big jump. That was a big shot, you know. So, so we'll see what happens there, guys. Uh, no, I think you were talking with the – Can um, we talk about Brian now? No. There were <laughs> uh, rumors uh, about uh, uh, some trades to the Lakers at some point or a free agent. Is that right? So oh, just the um, – what we chatter. just heard that just, uh, you know, just basically chatter. I mean, we were, before the trade deadline happened, we were talking about this, you know, Trey Young uh, thing, either because it was either Trey Young or De- uh, DeJounte Murray. Uh, because they can't keep either one of them. Well, um, Dejounte Murray was uh, he was linked to the Lakers a lot in trade. Rumors. They were trying to milk that, wasn't they? That, were trying yeah. to get they were trying to get yeah. first rounders. Yeah. That did not yeah. happen, bro. No, and no. nobody took the bait. Yeah. He's still yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's too much. He's he's great player. He's he's not a he's not a needle yeah. mover. He's not a game changer in that no. degree. Right not there. for what two first rounders? No, no. It's no, like no, no. Um, okay, with that. Okay, we're talking Lakers now. We can talk a little bit of LeBron. Okay, okay cool. Rumors oh. are, <sighs> uh, rumors are <laughs> rumor. have come out that LeBron is jockeying for a multi-year, nine-figure contract re-signing with the Lakers after this season. Multi-year, you got to be nine-figure contract with the Lakers. I don't, what, what are we talking about? Go ahead. That's so ridiculous. Let me look. Okay, 
Sadness. Is there a cricket? cricket? Stop that. Help me out. Help me out here. I you mean, sure? you know, I mean, I, I, okay. Okay, Look, let's do it. You, you, my boy, man, agree, disagree with me if you want to. But really, has LeBron done anything for the seven years that he has been with the Lakers? Done anything for him to be renowned as one of the greatest Lakers ever to put on the uniform? Has he I, done? I don't think that. No. Anything. No. No. I don't think anything. That. I mean, I'm not talking about. I mean, I'm not talking about Cleveland LeBron. Oh, no, I ain't I talking don't about know. Miami His LeBron. With the I'm literally talking about the LeBron James that we got, and I understand we got him. We were 35 and all that other stuff. Where, you know, don't he matter. was he was old. He he nowhere near is one of the top players right now and we've had the best version of LeBron that we would have had. Um why would we outside of so we can make money. Okay. You know <laughs> you said outside the obvious. Outside so we can make money <laughs> and we can sell merch and, okay. and and all this stuff. Are we even considering giving this guy another contract? Bro, let me tell you the numbers, bro. It's either they're looking for either a two to three, either two or three year deal, but it's starting at sixty million dollars a year. Why? <laughs> you said it earlier. Mm-hmm. So it's money. So, okay. I mean, so we, we don't we don't care about winning games. Bro, I'd like we to make a do, statement. We don't but care wait, about winning games. Actually, I have a statement about that. Can I get the camera on me? Can I get the camera on me? Let me just get a statement about this. Okay, this goes out to Genie Bus right now. Okay, Genie Bus, if you do this. If you give him a max contract for multi years, I'm telling you right now, you are in the Donald Sterling boat. And I don't mean that <laughs> personally. I mean that running a team. You are simply paying to to have a superstar sell tickets. You have you're not trying to win if you continue and if you go down that road. Thoughts? I'm just saying it's going to happen. Because, because first of all, I mean, what are we doing? We are doing exactly what we are what, doing. What are we doing? So we don't. So so. If we can win some games, how the it's not me, winning. It's but it's, okay, it's, it's me, because they're still on TNT. Let me, if they have let Bron, me, let me they ask, don't have Braun. We are we have like six let, national let games. Let me let me ask this yeah, question. Dude, we, let, we let me ask this question. Game. How did we not change ownership, but remove all the Laker tradition? Because we changed ownership. You no, didn't well, change family, but you changed ownership as much as you saw what was happening when Jim Buss was, was running it. It's different. It's not going to be the same. We want it to be the same. It's never going to never be, gonna be the same. same. bro. And, I mean, and we, we have to get used to it, and and it's the reality. And we'll see what she does. But but hanging the banner for the in-season tournament, um, it, they're not going to let LeBron walk and go somewhere. Some, no. Another team will pay him. It, Going to pay him sixty million a year, but I they mean, need the money. The Lakers don't need the money. Yeah, the, need the, well, the Lakers. I mean, let's, I mean, let's be real. I mean, Lakers are a mom and pop. Yeah, the Bus family needs the money. They need the money. Bus family. They need the, the money. money to be on par. Mm-hmm. They don't. I mean, they need the money to be on par. I mean, unless mess, unless they're not. They're not a corporation that owns a team. They're not. Bombers. They're. They don't have any other assets. They don't. They're not deep in real estate. They're literally only. Are they in the red? The, I don't think they're in the red. By no means, but I don't think they're like. They go by. Listen. I don't think they're like super profitable to the point that yeah. they're competing with, say, you know, uh, what's the guy named uh, um, Dolan? Because <laughs> Dolan is a, a, yeah, a yeah. different beast. He yeah, he the owns Knicks. the Knicks, but he has other stuff out there that is Knicks is basically his hobby. He owns a spear. Yeah, dude. Like this, is what you know what I'm saying MSG. You see what I'm talking about? Like yeah, this yeah. is, yeah, you know, this is what I'm talking there's, about. There's not, in fact, they there's don't have probably those things. not another family that owns a team where it's their sole livelihood. If you look around, I mean, look, they even, have one of the best organizations. If, yes, if a family over, is going to own, yes, but a team. if you look at Dallas Cuban, he wasn't. He's not family, and he he has businesses all over the place. Um, if you look at Dolan, if you look at um, um, uh, Aaron in yeah. uh, Miami, uh, if you look at up in Utah, is they they all they have other stuff. They other all than own the business that allowed them to purchase Clippers, Steve Bomber, of course, it makes a billion a year sitting they, on his they're, butt. They're, they're, like these these owners of other these teams are using the franchise like they're that's their playground, like that's what they that's this is their side bragging money. rights. This is their side money. 
This is the like the runoff. We're playing. We're, we're with the runoff. We 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 are running a okay. franchise. Okay. The Buzz family. This is it. There is no other income coming other other than the jersey sales, the ticket sales. Okay. Let me ask you. The, let the TV let me, sh- let me, uh, let me, the channel. Look, look, look. I, I mean, I know money runs the world. I I totally know that, and I know my my. I remember my grandfather. I asked him. He told me, say, if you ask the richest man in the world. How much money is enough? He said his guy would say just a little bit more. So I understand that. But I also have another philosophy. Now, stat pack. If I make a hundred million dollars a year and you make two hundred million dollars a year, whatever you buy, I can buy. Theoretically. Right. You 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 want to buy you a Bugatti? I can buy you a Bugatti. You want to buy a house on the hill? I can buy a house on the hill. You want to get a private jet? I get a private jet. You make a hundred million dollars more than me, but in essence, we could absolutely live the same. We could go in the You're same in the places. Same club. We could go same tax bracket. Yeah. Right. I mean, we we. I mean, you have more money than me. Right. You 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 have a hundred million dollars more than me. Right. But I have a hundred million. You have two hundred million. So you see, we're able to navigate. We're able to navigate in the same as that spaces. Right now, our bank accounts are different, but we able to get the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like you, if you go buy something, I could buy it. Right. You know, it's just, so. I understand that it's, it's status. You know, two billionaire, three billion. I I understand there's statuses. For me, look, man. At the end of the day, once you get that threshold, you know. I'm not, you know, are you really tripping? Let me ask you a question, though. Yeah. And I want to ask you this question. I mean, this is all seriousness. If you had an asset, now we're talking business now, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to use yeah, yeah. business terms. If I had an asset like a LeBron James that is literally making me money hand over fist, are you going to tell me that it's good business practice to allow this person that is the asset for my team to go to somewhere else and make that same money where I do not have anything close to replenish everything that I'm losing by watching him and somewhere else. Games be damned. What I'm saying is we're talking about business now. Just dollars. Can now. I do this and say that I'm effectively running the business at the best that I can? Can you answer that question? Because I know you want to look at it wins and losses. Am I making money for the show? But am I really keeping the lights on? We're keeping the lights on anyway, regardless. We, with or without the but mind. I'm just but saying. So, so, like I said, my question is, are we a business franchise where we want to make as much money as we can, or are we are a franchise where we want to win championships? See, I, I'd like to. I, and, and for me, once I get over that threshold, mm-hmm. I'm okay with having less money. If I could win the championship. I, I'd like to address your your comment before about, you know, once you make a certain amount in a sense, you're in yeah. that circle. Uh, I would agree with that. However, I believe you're you're overestimating. I believe that that uh, if there was a sole owner of the Lakers and it was just their little company, that person themselves would be in those circles. However, when you've when you've dissected the Lakers into as many fragments of ownership as it is, yeah, and and then dissected again to the Bus family, that is all the Bus family and split. I don't believe any one of the Bus family members are in that position. Some of the investors are, but they don't have the voice that Jeannie does, and I do not believe that she's in the billion dollar club. If she sells the team, she's in the billion dollar club. But liquid, no, I don't believe she is. I, I don't believe she is. And and so so it does become a dollars and cents. Jeannie Buss could go to the if, same if, restaurant if, if she get the same, she could get correct, the same correct. She get the if, same treatment. Correct. But if you're looking at the dollars and yeah. cents and they know exactly how much LeBron is making that team wins and losses be damned and if it equals 120 million and he wants 60 million to come back next year they're walking away from 60 to say hey we're going to rebuild the team but do we have any real hope of rebuilding it quick or should we just make that 60 million because LeBron's here and keep that money I don't know it's 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 a hard decision but again if that's a, that's not a decision Jerry Buss would have made Jerry Buss would have said what's best for the team what's going to win a championship regardless right that's why I'm saying hey if Jeannie Buss and the team goes down that road that is a Donald Sterling I just want to make a profitable company that's what we're talking about here you want to see the team sacrifice everything family sacrifice everything for the team and for the city 
are they going to take the business approach and go what's best for the shareholders and so forth? Yeah, because I mean, I'm just I'm just look I'm letting you guys know right here. here this is this is yeah. GD Worth the GD Bus from Networth.com and uh, the first uh, uh, from mm-hmm. uh, November thirteenth, two thousand twenty three. Her net worth is seven hundred million. We get with that. Yeah, she's but that's not, not a billionaire. Seven hundred million. What I'm saying is, she's not a billionaire. We're, she we're, can get the same bro, thing. You're talking she about. She can get the. She can. You she can do the same. Okay, so not listen. when you're talking that one so year. So you're for talking about things that we perceive as like, what's the difference? If you're a billionaire and you're talking to somebody that's worth a half a billion, guess who knows the difference? The fool that's a half a billion. They know the difference. Yeah. They know what they can afford and what they can't afford. We here looking up at in the, in, the, in the sky, we're thinking like, what's the difference between hundred million and five hundred million, a million, a billion, whatever? It's the same difference. It's not the same difference. <laughs> exactly. You trying to make it? It's not the same difference. Man, listen. and what I'm saying is, Jenny go the same. But where, where, bro, where, where, where so, can Jenny so go? So sell LeBron James, James. Let LeBron where, James. Let LeBron James go somewhere weird like Golden State. Where, win a couple where, where, championships. Where did you say? Where where can Jeannie not go that Bomber could go? He into uh Inglewood into Inglewood City Council <laughs> and say, I'm gonna build a brand new dome, I'm gonna pay for it. No, I'm gonna do it out of my pocket. No, that's where she can't go. No, here we go. No, no. Let's okay, that. <laughs> no. But to do that, you said I can't build my stadium here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna buy the other one. Too. <laughs> okay. You she feel me now? She can't do, do that either. Do you feel me now? <laughs> do you feel me now? Hey. Yes. Yeah, no, there's levels, right? The there's levels. levels. Hey, hey, there's levels. The only difference. Hey. He's listen, got it. I think listen. He got it. Yeah, no, he's the thing. Oh, shit, the, only, no. the only difference between <laughs> that steak is a little no, bit bigger. Hey, the, only that tomahawk. The, only, the only difference <laughs> between <laughs> between Barber buying the form and Jenny Buss buying the form. <laughs> Uh, Jenny Buss is buying it on credit and Barber just paying cash. That's yeah. the difference. Oh, no, no, no. no, <laughs> no, no it's, to get it out of the it's, way. It's literally this. Because it was annoying. It's thing. literally this. It's when you see somebody as is buying, I mean, you see somebody building a house on the beachfront property in Newport Beach and they buy the house just to tear that junk down so they to they can build something up on it. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. You ain't just trying, Jenny Buss just trying to buy the house. She's just trying to buy the house. Yeah. Ballmer's like, I want to t- buy the house so I can tear it down, He's so I can buy house my it. house up. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference. You, you see the difference. You know the difference. The, I the, 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 the wheels are <laughs> yeah, yeah, They're I turning in the head. He like understands. He's like, ah, uh, yeah. yeah. oh, damn. Yeah, because exactly. we're now here. Exactly. We're here so now. That that is something. Um, and I'm sorry, but he she has to make that. <laughs> Financial so decision. hold on, so so now three years is too what much. What does that mean I'll to give the fans? Her two years. What does that she mean to did the fans? Two, What's that? What does that mean to the fans? Are you saying oh, you're right? So you're so right. so you mean question. the jersey that's you good you questions. mean the fans right? Okay, let's see the number one selling jersey in the league. Yeah, but we're not winning huh? though. I'm talking about Laker fans, but, dude. You, you. I know, man. I bre- I'm talking about Laker fans. I know. You know, what? you know what? That is actually a dying breed too. And I don't just mean Laker fans. I just mean team fans. A lot of people, a lot of the new, the new youth, they're just player fans. Yeah. Yeah. They're fans of players more than teams. Yes. They don't really care about the history. Where the of parents teams. at? They just don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What were you teaching? <laughs> <laughs> How do you let this yeah, go? You're right. Yeah, cause you know, there's you know, there's parents that don't know about Kobe <laughs> Bryant until they, you know, so they can't, <laughs> can't you know. Wait. Yeah. Teach their kids okay. About them. All right. We. Yeah. I want to state that we successfully. We can't talk about money. We cannot talk about money. We successfully navigated oh thirty minutes without talking about Bronny, but now oh, the, time. Time the time has time come. come. The time okay. has come. Okay. So, uh, of course, as you know, uh, Money Mike here has been on Bronny Watch. <laughs> He's been keeping an eye on Bronny's stats. He's wanting to know uh, how Bronny's doing, how it's looking towards getting towards the NBA and so forth. And uh, I'm going to let you break the news as to what ESPN okay. just recently Okay, so did. let me just say, first of all, I'm mm. very happy oh. that Bronny James is healthy. Yes. Okay? He's healthy. He's yes. going through the season. Um Seriously. Bronny, the breaking news, Bronny James has been taken off of the 2024 mock drive, by draft by ESPN, <laughs> and they have him as a second rounder in the 2025 mock drive, right? Mm-hmm. And my question at the beginning of the, of the season when, and when Bronny was there was who would, because they wanted – to have LeBron James on their team, mm-hmm. 
who would be willing to to spend give Bronny James twelve million dollars just to have LeBron James on the team, mm-hmm. and everybody was saying maybe Detroit would do it because they had what the thirty three game losing streak or whatever. Oh, so it looks like apparently not even them are or if they he's not even gonna come out of college now. No. Now here's the thing about that. LeBron James said when Ronnie was going to USC uh-huh. that he was one and done and he wanted to play with him in 2024. Did he say he was one and done? I don't think he said that. I, Ron- I, th- I think what he said, are, maybe you're quite saying he Bronny, could help the Lakers right LeBron- now. He, he LeBron, LeBron said, <laughs> okay, LeBron James said that he could help the Lakers right now. Yes. He LeBron that. said that he would love to play oh, yes. additional year mm-hmm. so that way he could play with his son. Yes. Right? Yes. So, translation, Ronnie James is one and done, and he's going to be out at this year, right? Uh-huh. Do we all agree? Okay. I'll agree now, if you take it that way. So, if Ronnie, mm-hmm. and LeBron James has put that out there, like, look, you put that out there, LeBron James, and now they have taken him off the mock draft. Why are you LeBron James saying leave my son alone, you know, when you put the pressure on him where everybody could see from Sierra Can that he was he's not the one. Bryce James is the one, LeBron James, and you're gonna be too damn old to play with Bryce James. <laughs> so listen, Bronny James, I don't I think he is equal, and I'm gonna say it. Bronny James oh boy. is equal to LeAngelo Ball, and he's going to probably be playing in Mexico just like him before he actually gets into the NBA. I don't see a path for Bronny James to get into the NBA. At all. Let's stop it. At all. At all. Ever. He, he's not going to make a team. He'll be in the summer. He, he's going to be a career summer league player at, at best. Bronny James is not the player to be in the NBA. You hear? You heard it here. I okay. mean, I I think he he he. I think he could probably be in an NBA. I just don't think he's gonna be in the NBA right like next year. I think he's like he if we if his project his trajectory would be like a person that he has the skills of someone that comes out as a junior, or a four. you know, a four year guy like, and it will be a solid pro because he had four years of mm-hmm. good. Like fundamental training, right? Four years. That's why those guys come out. They're fundamentally well, can he signed. be a solid pro? Yeah, well, but yet don't. If we're saying throw him, it's kind of like okay. Remember, remember those guys back in the day that yet that um that was the one and done. They they start remember like they started like it was it was uh it was um KG yeah, and then it was Kobe. And then it was like um, I think was it Stephon Marbury. I think yeah. was Stephon. No, Stephon Marbury went to college. I think he went to college. Did he go to college? Yeah, he, I think he did one year. Georgia Tech. Yeah, Georgia Tech. Um, and somebody else that was pretty good. And then all of a sudden there was like the Jonathan, like yeah, Stoudemire. Then it became like the Jonathan, Jonathan Benders of the world. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was like everybody thought they were able to go ahead and go be one and gun. The Stroh Miles Swift, those guys like yeah. like that. These guys yeah. like what, like these guys coming out there. And you're like, what do you? You should stay in school. Because, yes, you have NBA talent, but you don't have the fundamentals, and you need to get those fundamentals. I think that the athleticism is there with Bronny. He would do better to get just tutelage from you know, Einfield. I think he's a really good coach. Um, but I, what I want to know, and just going back to what you were saying earlier, if LeBron James is so concerned about the smoke that he's, his son is receiving – then LeBron James should have been ahead of this a long time ago because he should have understood what would happen if his son did not come out to yep. be the best player yep. in this draft. Yep. He should have already foresaw that. The fact that he his, he his set ego up. set him up because you're just my son and you're pretty much my namesake, you're going to go on to do great things. It's just assumed. Yes, what you should have done, and but see, like I think we talked about this off camera. He was exposed at Sierra Canyon. It was once he got there with the other good players, he no longer was that good. You know, he wasn't just because you're LeBron James' son. Shoot, I think he was playing in the game with uh, what um, 
Who else was there? Like Montana's, like son, like everyone was at Matt Barnes. like Matt Barnes. Barnes. No, it was right. like uh, somebody right. else's son yeah. was there. Like Kenny uh, Martin. Yeah, it was like these guys are balling. He's not even balling with them. So I'm just saying, LeBron James, if you're gonna now be like protective of your son and his feelings, and you know, you see that it's basically they're now not giving you the LeBron. Like Rich Paul can't save your son now, bro. This is this is talent yeah. evaluation. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, and he's just not good it enough is, right now. Is. So you should have been like, I'd rather you guys not talk about my son. Let my son just have a normal life. If he wants to be come out in two years, three years, there's no pressure on him. That's it. But when you saying that I want to, when you were saying earlier, did LeBron say, James say that uh, that my son is a one and done? No, he did not say that. But if we're doing <laughs> the simple math, we are seeing that LeBron James is in year twenty, and we're saying that how many years is LeBron James going to play for his son to be able to play with him? We're saying twenty twenty one years top, twenty two years top, which means. If we're doing the simple math, then he's going to be a one and done to be yeah, able to, to play to with happen. his dad. So, yeah, he didn't say that, but he did say, I want to play with my son, and that automatically puts pressure that I need to get to the NBA mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to sit around because yeah. my dad is not going to be a 25-year vet. Mm-hmm. 22 years tops, and then he had to hang him up. You got to hang him up. Mm-hmm. So it's what it is. So you didn't do that for your son. You put your son out there, and now this is real life, LeBron. You can't yeah. save him from that. Yeah, you're grown can, a man. Can we, can we accept? I mean, I listen. I don't even want to say we. Can you guys accept Bronny James been the journeyman? Because I think that's pretty much the caliber of player he's going to be. He's going to be a journeyman. He probably would never sign a contract more than $10 million because he's just not worth that. Um, even at the inflated numbers. Is that something that you think that, that would be acceptable? No, it's not acceptable. For, of course not for, acceptable. For acceptable right. of course. to who? Wait, wait. Who is acceptable I'm to just, who? I'm just, to, to. The masses? To, yeah. Yeah, to, screw the masses. It's, it, 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 look, it, it, right now, the only thing that matters, LeBron doesn't matter. The masses don't matter. ESPN doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is Bronny James and how he's feeling. He's a kid. He's yeah. a kid. And and it's not fair. You don't pick where you're born and who your parents are, right? And sometimes it's you, you, you from the outside. It looks great. He's got money. He's got glamour. He's got this. There's a lot of pressure that comes with that. And and we saw that immediately once yeah. LeBron started mentioning that that he wanted to play with his son, and started talking about it as if it was a foregone conclusion that he would play with. We I was bringing it up right away. Like my God, the pressure. And I and and I recall. Years ago, LeBron saying that he even regretted giving him his name that, that yeah, because yeah. of the, the pressure that came from that. And then he went ahead and put this, which is 10 times worse. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't you know, it's it, it boggles my mind. But but now you have a point for, for LeBron to come out and, and somewhat act like he didn't right, kind of, of kind of build this up yes. himself. That's like LeVar Ball coming out and saying, hey, why are you guys going after uh, my boy here on his first game? Hey, Beverly, back down, dude. You shouldn't do that. Give my boy some time. No, I love that. Though. Like, You're very disingenuous, though. Like, you know, you when know? saying, like, you, no, 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 no. We're not going to go back and forth and do this with you. We, yeah. You, you put this out there. Yes, we're not going to hold you accountable. Mm-hmm. If your son is going to take the accountability, we're going to put it on you, LeBron. You should have been known better yeah. about that. You yeah. should have known. And, um, Don't scold us about it. Don't think, scold the media about no, it when no, you put it out in the media. Not at all. And the thing about it, I think what, once one thing that we're, we we should not go un, un, you know, un, um, unstated is, is that circumstance create a lot of these NBA players to be who they are. These guys are playing in situations where – it's dangerous to play the game of basketball. They are playing with the street lights are off. Yes, they are playing to get their families out of the hood. The circumstance is everything to drive motivation for these kids. Now, here's the point I'm trying to make. LeBron James Jr. did not have the same kind struggle. of struggle that his right. dad did, obviously. However, why is Bronny James why is Bryce better than Bronny? Is this no. not just because natural? No pressure. It's not. It's no pressure. no pressure. There's no pressure, and there's no pressure. And I can literally, if my shots don't fall, they just don't fall. If his shots don't fall, it's already on ESPN because he's two for five, and he only shot six shots, but he shot three threes, <laughs> and he's not there, and he only got two points in the game. That's an that's that's a story on ESPN. Bryce though could just go ahead and suck, but he don't suck. 
And that's the problem. <laughs> don't suck. And he's like, I'm actually pretty good at this. Yeah, and he's now like, he's and he's good. And his uh, his brother's going to do something. And just like, Lamar, like just, did you talk about the ball? We bring the brawls yeah. up. You La think Mello. about Luke Mello. No pressure. Big bros do all the hard work. I'm going to just come in there. And if I suck, ain't no skin off my nose. I'm the little brother. Right. I'm just going to drive in my brother's new Beamer and my mm -hmm. Lamborghini. I'm just yeah. going gonna, gonna to live life off of my mm -hmm. brother. I'm going to do that. But if I'm good, yeah, then it all then, 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 it. then it's in my court, and that's what's going to happen here. It's going to be Bryce is going to be that dude, and he's is actually you talk about it being a solid pro. pro he has all the makers right. of being a solid pro. He does he have the uh, the athleticism as Bronny? Bronny? No, he doesn't. Do we know the age difference between Bronny and? Bryce? Um, I think they're two, two years. years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. So so then. So he's a junior. So right there now. is yeah. potentially based on our conversation no. today. Time out. <laughs> there is a potential that there, serious? that there could be two Jameses in the same draft. Now, Oof. Rice Ooh, wow. and Ooh. Brawny I like that. That's crazy. coming out in the same. I year. like that. It's crazy. Is that it's, possibility? It's, it's a now. possibility, and if, if we bring it honestly, it, it should be that way. But it won't. And LeBron and Bronny James is literally going to come out next year. You know, by oh no. Brooke. No, he's uh he's sixteen, so. Oh no! Well, he's, yeah. a, he's a sophomore. Yeah, so he, he so Brian James is yeah he's sixteen, so he nineteen. You gotta be nineteen and a half, right? So that's three years. Yeah. So that's another. So uh, yeah, it could happen if he spends I mean, three years. He ain't playing with hey, his daddy. Hey, it, that, it could happen. That, he you playing heard playing it here no, first. He so so that that's that's Bronny James getting a degree at USC. Yep, get your and, degree. And 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 him and and Bryce been one and done. There's a people there. Not at USC. Dude. I predict not SC. I predict he's going to go and try and win a championship. Oh, well, he's going to – because he's going to be good. He's going to go to, to it's, UNC. He's, he's going to be good. He's going to try and, and win a championship. He's gonna, no, he, no, he probably won't go to – he he's going to be good. So he yeah. probably won't go to USC. But if you want to stay no. local, he will go to UCLA. Right. Because that's just – That would be tough. That's Because that's <laughs> what it is. But yeah. that's what it is. That's We're talking about is. I'm going to be a good I'm, – I'm the best of the best. And I'm talking about legacy. And I'm talking about I ain't scared of the moment. If I bring UCLA up yeah. – yeah. Then I'm UCLA. I'm part of the I mean the pantheon the of greatness. Center. Yeah, pan yeah. all yeah. that. So Gordon, John Wooden. Yeah. So Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. This is this has been great. Uh, as you know, thank you for joining us. As you know, we always finish the show with a segment we call Money Mike's Out of Bounds. Ooh. Money Mike's going to share his thoughts or opinions on a topic, and it's really easy. He just wants to know if those thoughts or opinions are in bounds or out of bounds. Money Mike. You got the mic. Hey, this is a little this is a little crazy one, man, because I this is just what I was thinking. I know it's a little bit far fetched. Gotta warn y'all, this is a really far fetched thing. That's a surprise. Yeah, so so listen. I was looking at these Dodger tickets, right? And and my 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 wife, she loves the, the little Hello Kitty nights and all that stuff, you know, the theme night stuff, and I'm looking at the tickets and I always go to try to buy tickets for. Man, Hello Kitty night is the cheapest ticket is in the nosebleed section is $111. And I got to thinking about this show high Atani situation where he's getting only $2 million and he's getting deferred <laughs> for... Yeah, they, they, they're literally deferring it, what, 30, 30 years away or something like that. Why are we already paying like he's getting paid now? Am I out of bounds that they need to defer... The cost of the ah. ticket ah, 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 <laughs> to 30 years from now ah, ah, when they really do it. Because no. I think that ticket should be no more than $75 in the nosebleed. And we all ran $111. So am I out of bounds to say the Dodger tickets are too much because because Shohei is only getting paid $2 million a year? Am I out of bounds that we need to defer the payments? You want to take this or you want me? I mean, he you volleyed it. It's a dunk. <laughs> Dude, uh, look, man, you know damn well they ain't going to. Oh, uh, I'm just. This is how it goes, not? bro. When we heard, but when we heard they were deferring, you already knew what it was about. Like, I'm going to get my money now. I might have to pay his money later, but I'm going to get my money now. So all that $600 million, I'm going to get that now. I'm gonna get that now. I'm gonna get that. No, they're gonna pocket I'm gonna it, get that. put it in the I'm gonna get that. And we're gonna put that in the ball. And their interest is gonna And then we're gonna like woo -woo. Yeah. And then we go ahead and put that in a little night. Do we make it in one year? Cool. Am I out of bounds to one right deferred? No. Am I out of bounds to one yes. deferred? Am I that yes. ridiculous? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Of course you're out of bounds. Oh, man. I, I'm like, I can't believe these ticket prices. Man, I used to be able to go to a Dodger game, get some decent seats for like 50 bucks. Plus, it's plus and they it's have the novelty. Belger. You know it's what? the novelty. You know no. what? It's, 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 it's that. What I'll say is, yeah, you're out of bounds. However, <laughs> so are the Dodgers. They, they really – you can't leave – 
the the fans behind in the city. They have to look at the economic you know levels in the city and make sure that everyone can attend the games. Now, I, I, they can't guarantee it, but they they need to have at least certain sections that will always do. Like, they have stay a standing a room dollar. only. That's over a hundred dollars. Yeah, see, that's not acceptable. You gotta have that's like, crazy. Room, like they gotta have ah, some sections. It, it, it's, 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 a, it's at the top. That's some crazy. Sections, dude, and, and, and keep them away from scalpers, however they can. Make sure the people that buy so them that's, have to that's, that's I know. I'm talking about. I, I'm talking right? about Dodger.com. I'm going on no, Dodger.com. No, that's, that's face. It's a face value. Because see, here's the, thing, here's the thing about the Hello Kitty thing, and the Laker, Laker tickets are the same way. You know, when they have Laker nights and stuff like that, you have to go the specific through ticket. the Dodger.com in order to buy the ticket. Yeah, because aftermarket right. is over. You'll be able to get the giveaway. So I can't go on StubHub or whatever like, like that. But I look, I was like, look, why don't I just buy this one for 111 and that go on StubHub and buy some other tickets for 40, 50 bucks? It's not there. I did the cheapest on, on stuff up was like 140 bucks or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that normally was not the case. Uh-huh. That normally normally a baseball game, they never was over a hundred dollars like know. for a ticket. I know it's bad. They, it's, it's like crazy. you go fifty dollars for a ticket yeah. it was a was do, a dollar do, ticket. Do you guys remember years ago? No, I know this isn't the first um Asian player to, to come to the league, but do you guys remember no uh, Jeremy Lin when he yeah, came to the yeah. Lakers? And Lynn Sanity, you know, was just finishing up, but he came to the Lakers. I'm a Lakers season ticket holder, man. The, the ticket prices skyrocketed. Uh, those seats were filled with a whole new audience. Uh, they support. They support. Remember Yao Ming? They support. Yeah. They come out. They're going to buy those tickets. They have the money. They'll spend. And now, just forgive me, on Hello Kitty night? Dude, it's... I mean, that's... It, it, that it's... Is Strictly, dude, it's, I mean, it's Japanese on top of yeah, Japanese. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's like it's ridiculous, like, dude. dude. You <laughs> acting like you acting like yeah. you acting like there ain't gonna be people like in the parking lot. Then people gonna be in the parking lot. Oh they gonna be in the parking lot. And now, so and now, but but it's it, but it's, it's, so but it's two things. It's two things though because yeah. yep. Hello Kitty has now created this now this thing where come on guys we we grew up when this thing was out. Hello Kitty was Hello Kitty, but it was kind of like girls like Hello Kitty. Yeah, but it, not even like. But it wasn't Kitty like that. Thing. I remember when it was like the the green frog African. Like Hello Kitty was bad or old news, and they had the little green frog thing that was the new thing. But you know, <laughs> they, they had this new stuff was going on, and then all of a sudden Hello Kitty just became like, like the novelty, and it just grew ever since. And now all of these girls just love the, the Hello Kitty, and now even. My daughter's massive collection. Like Hello Kitty. Massive, you think Hello obviously Kitty? Obviously your wife. My you daughter like Hello yeah. Kitty. So it's like, yeah, dude. It's but I mean, come on. That's like you're you're putting together. That's the perfect storm of nights. My God, right dude. there, yeah, especially dude. this year. So uh, yeah. So 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 the only question that remains: Did you buy the tickets? I'm one, and I'm just gonna try to figure it out. I got but, I, I, listen, but at the same time, I to I, he said all that. Look, he said all that. To, yeah, look, I bought a ticket. Look, she <laughs> always, hey, my wife gets the Hello Kitty. Yeah, I got a ticket, though. There's you know a Dodger Hello Kitty. <laughs> I didn't like it. Happy got, wife, happy it, life. I didn't like it. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. And, and now but it's like a, it's a hacky sack. <laughs> no, no. Well, no, no. I'm going to be in the house. What I'm doing is I'm praying that I'll be down. able to buy some other tickets. What if you tickets? can't, and what if you pay the same amount, and you now have one ticket down here? And well, I'm getting, well, listen. I'm trying to get other tickets, you know, for cheaper or at least better seats. You know what oh, I mean? Because okay. these are like way up at the top, and that oh, that God. one ticket get is special for I there. Think, I think it's time to, oh to readdress your expectations at the Dodger games. Man, that's ridiculous, though. <laughs> I know that true. ticket used to be seventy five dollars, <laughs> and that was a lot. Yep, Do you know doubled. how crazy open night going to be? Oh my, man, my God. I know. Dodgers are loving it. Uh, Major League Baseball is loving it, and Infinity TV is loving yep. it. Yep. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for sticking around on the Profanity Nation. Again, as you know, we're here every now Wednesday morning. We release 8 a.m. Wednesday mornings so you can wake up and get your Lakers news. Yes. Tonight is Lakers Clippers. I don't care what the Lakers say. There is a rivalry, and the Lakers need to win this game. I don't care what their record says. The Lakers need to win this game. Guys, agree? Yes. Uh, yes. All yep. right. So uh, stick around. Uh, you'll catch other shows on InfinityTV.com. Be sure to follow and subscribe. Go to InfinityTV.com and subscribe there as well because that's where you're gonna get all the emails and keep up to date with what's going on even a brand new show called full clip about the clippers no. 
uh, it exists. So uh, you can catch that, guys, on Thursday or Friday mornings there. So, uh, again, InfantyTV.com, lots of coming to you. So uh, stick around, subscribe, follow. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.